Welcome to Review Time with Isip. I am Isip, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes, Dinobot Slash. Um, right off the bat, I gotta say, and I, I think I said this on um, on a, uh, po a podcast not too long ago when they were first showing pictures of this figure, I said that this, with a redone head, would make a great um, Dinobot from Beast Wars. You know, if it was a robot, robotic uh, Velociraptor instead of a regular one. Um, and I hold firm to that. The transformation and everything just reminds me of that Transformer. That said, uh, this is the first official female Dinobot we have ever gotten. And she looks great, if I'm honest. I would love if... I would love for this to be oversized one day to, to match the scale of the other Dinobots. Because she is small, but to be fair, Velociraptors in real life weren't as big as TV portrays them. Real Velociraptors are only about the size of chickens. Big chickens. Maybe a dog. A, sm a medium to small dog. But they weren't humongous, like human-sized Velociraptors. Now, Deinonychus actually was a raptor that was a much bigger raptor. So keep that in mind when you watch the Jurassic Park movies. Those velociraptors are not to right scale, and they are more likely uh, inspired by Deinonychus. So that said, she is pretty cool. Her head rotates. Uh, it's not... It doesn't... It doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to be on a ball. It doesn't go left and right. Her arms are on a ball. They go all the way around. They go out like this as long as you catch it at the right place. If you do it here, you're going to pop it right off. They pop off um, fairly easily. I mean, they don't. It's not like you do this and they're going to pop off. But if you, if you don't get it to the right angle before you try to extend it all the way, it will pop off. And it just, it just softly pops out. Um, which I actually kind of like. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. It doesn't feel like it's going to really wear down. So that's nice. She has an Autobot symbol right here. Looks pretty cool. Uh, rotates 360 at the upper bicep. She has a pretty decent bend. No wrist articulation. And then this moves because of transformation. She has no waist. But her hips are pretty well articulate. You can get a full split you can get a full kick that way going backwards though her legs are hindered by the dino kibble uh, there's nothing you can do about that it is what it is it's necessary the knees bend uh, she has a upper thigh and upper thigh excuse me an upper thigh rotation and her feet do not move at all so let's go ahead and get a size comparison. So here she is with Power of the Primes Metal Hawk. Here she is with Metal Hawk. Uh, here we go with a let's move the hot rod from the Titan Wars. So you can see how small she is, which to a human, I would think that a Velociraptor, a real Velociraptor, would be to this scale here. Uh, with the way that they're described. I'll bring I'll bring her back out again. Uh, I'll bring him back out again for a comparison when she's in her Velociraptor mode. Um, yeah, she can hold the power of... Yeah, I mean, the power of the prize. She can hold... 5 millimeter weapons in her hand. Uh, again, because of how heavy it is, you do have to adjust her stance, but she can hold it. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's it for this mode. That is it for this mode. Let's go ahead and 
Sorry if I keep moving the camera around. I'm actually trying to make sure that she's got that the light's falling on her properly. I want to make sure there aren't any shadows. So, ooh, she's very posable. Can get her in some really dynamic looking poses. That's actually pretty cool. I love that you can do that. Uh, I wish more figures allowed for that. But uh, that said, let's go ahead and transform her. First thing we want to do is just bring her her arms forward. We're going to take these things here, and you can see there's little little posts on them, and you're just gonna push them till they clip into the hand. We'll go ahead and uh, you can't turn. Can you turn? You can't really turn the head all the way around, but. Uh, you, if you want to, you can do it that far. No, you can't. That won't work. All right, so you just have to leave her facing forward. That's a shame because now you bring the tail down and her face is... She's got a butt face. But it is what it is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these bits here and you're going to rotate them around at that upper thigh 180 degrees and then you can go ahead and peg them together now if you'd like to they peg together uh, actually they, okay there we go they peg together they peg and clip there's a clip right there there's a clip here and then it's just a little peg and then just bring this around and then these bits here these nubbins will slot in right there so you take it and slot it in okay and then open this bit up here uh, I guess you don't have to tuck the dino head in there if you want to you can just leave the dino head on the outside but I don't know I like it better in the robot mode with the dino head tucked into her back I don't mind it flat looking like that because it just I don't know it's just more cohesive sorry about that it's more cohesive than just having it like this but anyway you're gonna bring this bit around and then bring the legs and unfortunately you have to always have them at, at an angle like this otherwise she's not going to stand if you straighten them out more she tips forward unless you go like this but then her head doesn't tilt nope you can't even do that nope so unfortunately she is front heavy and the only way to balance her is to bend her knees like so and uh yeah there you go the little raptor mode she's pretty cool looking she is a great looking raptor zoom in a little bit i'll bring her in so we can take a look at the head the head sculpt is really nice it does open it does open and she has a translucent head so it's, it, it gives it, uh, it's a throwback to the old G1 Dinobots where they had clear plastic over gold uh, inside things. Um, I don't like that her lower jaw is black. I wish that would have been silver or gray. But it is what it is. It does open and close. Her head does look up, but it doesn't look any further down. And that's a shame. And there's not much you can do regarding looking down because it doesn't go down any further. But considering how small she is in relation to most other bots, that's perfectly fine. Her little dino arms are on a peg and they rotate 360, but they have no other articulation. Um, her legs, which were her arms, go 360, bend here, and rotate, and that's about it. And uh, her tail can go up if you want. And really, actually, they hide her face pretty good. I didn't realize that. They hide her face pretty good. It's in there, but you don't see it because her feet cover it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And this is why I say that she'd make a pretty good Dinobot because her transformation is very similar. It's a little slim down, but it's very similar because the feet used to the legs and the feet used to go up on the original Dinobots toys under its stomach and the arms became the legs for the dinosaur so yeah I want to get another one of these and repaint it if I could find a head that fit uh, the, that maybe I can find it on Shapeways find a head that would make a good replacement um, 
here she is next to next to uh, Metal Hawk. So you can get a size comparison for that. Here she is next to Legends Shrapnel. And she's actually not as long. And body wise, I think, I don't know, Shrapnel seems bigger. It's a big bug. Back in prehistoric times. And uh, because I just wanted to show off that a little closer to. Yeah, that's about the size of what a, a Velociraptor was to a human in real life. Um, real Velociraptors were about the size of, like I said, about the size of chickens, maybe uh, dogs. And yeah, still pretty dangerous. Still got the claws and animals are generally stronger for their size than humans would be. So, and it's got lots of teeth. It's got lots of claws. I'm pretty sure, I mean, the human might be able to take it out, but the human would actually be hurt pretty bad and probably die whatever so in this mode you can open this flap up here and take a titan master or or a power of the prime master and slot it in here the foot here would actually go on to this slot here it wouldn't be a full seat seated position it would be more like it's kind of sitting and his legs are backwards, but unless you're looking like this, you wouldn't know it. So from here, it looks like like he is riding the dinosaur. Dino Riders! So, yeah. That's actually pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I like this figure. I really do. I think they did a great job with this figure. And... Um, Honestly, I would not be surprised if they decided to, at some point, remold the head and repaint this as Dinobot. So, yes, uh, down the line, I, I don't, I would very much imagine that they would make this into Dinobot. I gotta tell you something, with these colors, with these colors, I actually, these colors just kind of remind me of, um, of Psykill, believe it or not. Wouldn't that be funny if somebody released a, a Psykill head and you could just repaint some of this up? Because this actually looks like it, it, it could be the wheels on the shoulders. And I'm not showing you what I'm talking about. The wheels on the shoulders, this down here would just have to be painted blue. And we just need a new head. And then we could have Psykill as a Velociraptor. Which, you know, okay, yeah, his, his name doesn't fit. But that would still be pretty cool. I would love that. I definitely would love that. Psykill reformatted as a Velociraptor. In any case, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I don't have anything else to say. I'm Isaac. Thanks for watching. Ciao.